Hi, my name is Nathalie Schaller and I'm a climate scientist researching the links between climate and weather at the Environmental Change Institute, School of Geography and the Environment at the University of Oxford. At the Radcliffe Observatory, Oxford researchers have been taking daily measurements of precipitation and temperature uh, since 1767 which is the longest such record in the world and we have just recorded our wettest winter ever. The wet and stormy weather across England and Wales has caused some flooding, financial losses, disruptions and even sadly some death. Lots of people are asking whether there is a link between this exceptional weather and climate change caused by rising greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere. Answering this question is hard because, as we can see from the record, we have had plenty of wet winters before. So we cannot say that without climate change we wouldn't have had those floods. However, the question that we can ask is whether climate change made those winters or those wet winters more likely. Or in other words, whether greenhouse gas have loaded the weather dice towards more wet winters. To work out if a dice is loaded, particularly if the loading is subtle, you have to roll it many times to see if you get too many sixes, and in the real world, we only get to roll it once. So we need to run climate model simulation, and this is where we need your help. With the support of Environment Guardian, we are asking you to download and run one of tens of thousands simulation of possible weather over the past winter and send us your results. The simulations will fall into two groups. One group will simulate the actual conditions driving the weather over the past winter and the other group will simulate the world that might have been without climate change. By comparing the numbers of wet winters or extreme precipitation events between these two groups, we can work out whether climate change made these events more likely, less likely or even had no impact at all. So it is really important to stress that we don't know what the result will be, but I will put your results as they come in on the Guardian's website and together we will see the answer emerge. Please help us understanding the links between weather and climate and download your own individual and unique simulation from weatheratome.org. Thank you very much for your help.